Have you been looking at a Galileo refractor? Do you want to know if it's any good before you buy it? Stay tuned. We'll take a look. Galileo sells a variety of telescopes. They even sell multiple models of refractor telescopes. The specific one we are going to be talking about today is model number G-860BG, the Galileo 800mm by 60mm Astronomical and Terrestrial Refractor Telescope Kit with Smartphone Photo Adapter. This telescope, once you get it assembled, is actually not bad. The metal tube holds up really well, as does the metal tripod. I was very impressed with the heft uh, and build quality of the tripod itself. On telescopes in this price range, you usually see a whole lot of plastic. Now, I'm not saying there's not plastic in it, like at the, the sliders here and the knobs and tension rings, those are plastic. But the, the bulk of it is metal, even nice big metal bolts. So once you get it out and start using it, that means that it's very, very stable for something this size and in this price range. As you move things around and, you know, it has a huge tension knob here, which makes it really nice to, to tighten up here. Now, is this something that, you know, is easy to make very minor viewing adjustments and move just a little? Not really. But the nice, really nice thing I like about it is that it's remarkably stable. So when you go to look at something like the moon, sure, the moon moves across your field of view, but the whole thing's not, you know, vibrating and shaking while you're trying to view it. I really like that. Uh, setting up your red dot finder is typical. It has the, the two adjustments, one to move it side to side and one to move it up and down. So that's no big deal. You've got a little tensioning right here on these knobs. The tighter you get it, the harder it is to move up and down. The tighter you move, or the tighter you get this, the harder it is to swing it around. So that's good. And you have this adjustment knob right here, which you can loosen, and then that allows it to slide here. And the more tension you put on this knob, the harder this is to move up and down. Now for precise adjustments, it even has a little screw thread right here that you probably can't see, but the screw thread will allow micro adjustments up and down. Why you've got micro adjustments up and down when you don't have micro adjustments left and right, I have no idea. So overall, the build quality of it is fairly good. Uh, I like the tube. That was the first thing that really got my attention. The optics in it are pretty good. And we'll discuss that a little bit more when we talk about the accessories and stuff. The one thing I do not really like is like most telescopes in this price range, your entire focusing assembly here is all plastic. Does that stop it from working? No. But you need to be very, very careful that you don't over tighten any of the, the holding screws here, like for the eyepiece or for the diagonal, because it'll crack. And you need to be careful with as you're running this out, because if you get to the end, which is way out there, and you try and keep going, you very well could strip the gears in here, which would make the focuser unusable. But overall, actually out in the field using this thing, it's remarkably good. The accessories that come with the Galileo refractor that we're talking about, um, start with the normal. You have a, a small manual, that, nothing special. You have two eyepieces, you have a diagonal, you have a little tray, and that's supposed to hold your eyepieces, although it has a whole lot more holes than you have eyepieces. A red dot finder, uh, and a phone mount with a manual. Now, these are nothing to be, you know, impressed with. One thing I did like is it includes a copy of Stellarium. Now, you can, you can download that uh, online, much more current version. But they gave you a CD of it, and that's that's nice because that really helps you find things. So it it shows that they were trying to, uh, you know, trying to actually help you find targets to look at 
with the telescope. And that, that kind of impresses me. The red dot finder is mostly plastic. Uh, however, it does a pretty good job. It's a little fidgety to get installed on the telescope to start with. But uh, once it's owned and, and adjusted, it works really well to adjust it. Just like any red dot finder, I suggest you uh, point at the top of a tall tree or a telephone pole or a tower uh, get the in broad daylight and get the telescope centered and then center the red dot finder and then from that point on you can use the red dot finder to uh, point the telescope where you want to. The diagonal is almost completely plastic so when you use the screw to tighten um, the eyepieces in place be sure you're gentle with it because a little bit too much tightening and you will crack the ring and then it won't tighten anymore. So be careful with that. The eyepieces, um, I'll talk about here in just a minute. Um, the phone adapter, it's completely serviceable, but it's not fancy, and it's it too is very fidgety. So you got to be careful uh, when you're using it to get it just right. Um, it can take a lot of messing with to get it to get it on but the fact that it comes with one and that it actually does seem to function uh, I, I was impressive with there are certain angles you're gonna have a hard time because of the weight of the phone um, it holds remarkably large phones although the weight will be a little excessive probably for it to grip onto the eyepiece um, but it is something to get you started and, and something to play with and, and I like that okay so um, now if we look a little closer at the eyepieces we have two eyepieces that uh, it comes with the first one is a 20 millimeter and the second one is a six millimeter in all fairness the six millimeter is probably overkill um, unless you're in a, a really nice clear spot uh, most of the views with the six millimeter are going to be kind of blurry it doesn't hurt to try it but my experience, you know, unless you're out at a, a serious dark site, you're going to primarily use the 20 millimeter. If I bought this telescope and uh, had planned on using it for any length of time, the first thing I would replace is the eyepieces. Get you some nice uh, eyepieces for it. And I'm not talking three, four hundred dollar eyepieces. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, really fifty to seventy dollars for an eyepiece if you're really going to use it a lot is not a lot of money and i would start with maybe a, a 25 and then go with like a 15 and um, then think about maybe something a little a little uh, smaller with uh, some more magnification but a really nice eyepiece will really bring this refractor to life the Accessories that come with it, the eyepieces and stuff, they make the telescope usable, but they're nothing fancy. And the I was kind of depressed with the uh, the six millimeter. That for me, that pretty much went right in the garbage. Uh, but the twenty millimeter did an, an okay job, especially viewing the moon and stuff. It was it was really nice. Uh, but like I said, uh, if if you enjoy using this telescope and you're going to use it for a while, I suggest you. Uh, put a little bit of money together on some eyepieces and, and I've got a video I'll see if I can link to it down below but I've got a video explaining eyepieces and and uh, you know giving you some suggestions so take a look at that so after all of that what do I think of this telescope well I've seen the telescope ranging in price anywhere from 90 something dollars up to over three hundred dollars so putting it in that range yes i think it's absolutely worth the money in the 90 dollars range i absolutely don't think it's worth the money in the 300 dollars range there are a lot better telescopes out there for that kind of money but if you can pick this up on sale for anywhere from 90 dollars to say 150 maybe uh, this is not a bad telescope for that kind of money uh, are there better alternatives maybe but for the price, I think this one's going to be kind of hard to beat. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like the video. And clear skies.